The Fulton County Jail has received much or uh, has gotten much less crowded in the last couple of months as the U.S. Department of Justice has had a presence there since the start of October. Now 11 Alive's Doug Richards tonight has more on what has now happened. The Rice Street lockup has seen its population drop sharply, mostly because the county has been successful in moving hundreds of its inmates to other facilities. The beds on the floor of the Fulton County Jail are nicknamed boats. They're temporary beds, and during COVID, there were more than 500 inmates sleeping on them. But as of Sunday night, Fulton Jail officials say 51 inmates were sleeping on boats, with the number dropping rapidly. Our outsourcing allows us to get people off the floor out of floor devices off and, and really treat people in a humane fashion. Sheriff Patrick Labatt says the Rice Street jail population has dropped sharply in recent months. Nearly 400 Fulton inmates are now at the Atlanta City Detention Center, but hundreds more are in facilities ranging from Cobb to Oconee counties. That's pushed the population at Rice Street down to about 2077 as of Sunday night, nearly a thousand fewer inmates than at the troubled jail's population peak. Yet it's still dangerously overcrowded. It was built to hold 1,125 inmates. Its current headcount is still almost double that. Labatt says prosecutors and judges need to help reduce the overall number of people jailed. And figure out how ultimately we can take individuals that have been incarcerated for more than a year and see what that looks like and working with the judges to see how do we get people into a more safe environment. Labatt says the ultimate answer to overcrowding here is a new jail cost of a couple billion dollars. He says that even with the inmate population dropping here, this facility is beyond repair. In Northwest Atlanta, Doug Richards, 11 Alive News.